honestly, I'm fine with that, but I would like to know where our troops are. Yep. They really, it's like our troops kind of get were traded away or something. They're not, you don't hear anything about them. No, they're mercenaries now, right? Is that what you're saying? Right. They're no, fighting but they're from... overseas somewhere, right. and you don't hear a thing about them. Someone did tell me the other day, not that long ago, that Fort Drum numbers are way low now because... Oh, uh, they are. They're all gone, buddy. They're, they're gone, yeah. What you is know that? the day, what was the day when, um... Oh, something happened like just a month ago. Yeah, and after that day, the day after that, they flew one aircraft after another out of Fort Drum. Did they really? See, oh, like for hours they flew over here because they always come right over here. I don't. I think they got to climb the hill, obviously, and they they were, they came over all day. Great big airplanes out of Drum. And when was that? Oh God, I don't remember what happened. Something happened in the world last month. All right, so it was last month. It wasn't like in June because they it was had last month. They had their. It was. I can't remember what it was. They had their. It con- wasn't very. Yeah, Chris does this all the time. It, I think it was like. The it doesn't first matter. Attack maybe on a ra- Nah, I don't think so. All right. Well, here's my point. But they were there were uh, there were a lot of soldiers here in June. They had their concert there, and uh, that was successful because they said there was a lot of troops on on base. And and I heard recently that there's n- hardly any on base these days. And you know what, oh, Crazy no, I Ray? I believe it because, like I said, they flew No, I know, I know, that. I know. But I, here's the thing about it, though, Crazy Ray. I think with all the liaisons, and this is a question for Eric Wagner, who, of course, obviously has a lot of experience both in the military and now he's our city manager. We should set up like a, some type of litmus test or chart that says, hey, we're at medium uh, Fort Drum capacity now, meaning a good deal of 50% or more of the troops are abroad. And I think that should weigh in it would on be how... Something that, yeah, we should know, yeah. We should know because as business people, you know, that's just the the, the uh, ebb and flow of money and people, and we should be prepared to know whether or not it's up or down. And we never got that. Honestly, never have. look at the community. How many soldiers have you seen lately? I haven't seen I haven't any. seen many. And they don't live in Watertown no, as much. not many at all. I don't know if I've even seen any, to right. be honest with you. Yeah. Really? Well, let's see if we have any military out there right now. 755-1240, tell us what's going on. Are there any military personnel on 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 uh, base right now? And if not, why? And maybe they won't be able to tell us. I mean, if they, they do, do summer training. Them. Don't get me wrong. I mean, but yeah, it doesn't even seem like, um, you know, you remember in the past all the all the like reservists and stuff would come up to Fort Drum right. like by the drove. Oh, I know years ago. Yeah. I haven't seen them. Weekend warriors. Yeah. All right. Listen, crazy. Yeah, I got remember it. they would come up with they would come up for like the, the summer for like two months and right. spend the yeah. spend money all over the area. You don't see right. it at all. That's when we had strip joints. Yeah. That's when uh, Watertown yeah, yeah, was fun. Yeah. When we had when we actually had things. Yeah. Watertown and was adult bookstores and things. We were Pottersville. Crazy Ray, you got the show started, my friend. Thank you very much, Crazy Ray. All right, buddy. I'll talk to you. That's Crazy Ray. He's got a lot on his mind today. Hi, you're on the air.